Today I'm going to talk about, both my seminars are going to be on smallmouth fishing. It's a, it's a big passion of mine. I love fishing smallmouth. So no matter where we go, there's just something about them. The, the fight, the bite you get out of them. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's addicting. And uh, it, it, it's something I love to do. It's a passion of mine. Any, anywhere I can go and fish smallmouth, I usually target them, even if they're not the winning deal. When you're smallmouth fishing rivers, uh, current's king. There's like, I can probably count on one hand how many fish I've caught smallmouth out of a river. I've caught out of slack water or dead stagnant water that isn't moving. They will always, always, I mean, they even spawn in a little bit of current, but uh, they will always be somewhere around current depending on the time of year, how much flow they want and the river conditions. But they're always, always going to be in some form of current, whether it's primary main river channel or uh, secondary current and side shoots and stuff like that. And uh, one thing on rivers, there's no such thing as too shallow. Uh, a lot of places you go, like lake fishing, you can catch them in 30, 40 feet of water on a drop shot. And I don't think I've ever caught a smallmouth out of a river in more than... They're very aggressive fish. They have a different demeanor than the ones you catch in lakes. Um, they're super, super aggressive. The, the way I fish for them is a lot of power fishing. I rarely, rarely ever pick up a spinning pole. It's uh, pretty much all done with a bait caster, heavy line, and uh, covering a ton of water. The, the hardest thing to do is, is to find them. Once, once you find them, catching them is fairly easy. They're a uh, really cooperative fish. And um, uh, the bite, bites come easy. So find, finding them is the major thing. And, and that's why I use a ton of search baits, a ton of fast moving baits, cover water, and um, trying to locate the fish. Go to the next slide. Um, rods and equipment. I, I, I like fishing longer rods on river systems than I do on lakes. You're, you're, you're always fishing in current. I use a lot of seven and a half and eight foot long rods when uh, I'm minus a few techniques, but um, just the way the fish bite on river systems, they, they're in that current, they're darting out from rocks, eating your bait, and then they pretty much take off downstream as soon as they get your bait, minus, it seems like the really big ones will grab it and sit there because I don't think they're worried about anybody taking the bait away from them. But you know, your average size fish, your two, three, four pound fish, it seems like the second they eat a bait, they run down river at you. And typically when I'm fishing, I'm always fishing upstream, bringing my bait back down with the current, that's key. All, Every fish in a river system, he's facing upstream. He cannot face downstream, it's impossible. They can't sit like that. So at all times, their eyes are upstream, waiting for a current to bring it to food to them. And uh, fast reels, bait casting reels, even when I'm cranking, I'm throwing like eight to one, seven, three to one's probably the slowest reel I'll ever use on river systems. For the same reason, the way the fish eat the bait and come at you so quick, it creates a ton of slack in your line. That and the current, a lot of times puts a big bow in your line. That's where that long rod really helps to pick up a lot of slack and get a good hook set on these fish. And uh, probably the most important part when, if you are fishing out of a boat on the river is good trolling motor batteries. Um, most of the time I'm fishing smallies. Um, I like fishing heavy, heavy current. Um, places a lot of guys would think, you know, the current's too strong for fish to be. But the fish in the river systems are always gonna be on some sort of a seam. It might look like the most raginous water in the world, but there'll be a little boulder there or something that fish can hide behind. And that current is his entire life. Um, everything revolves around that. That's a conveyor belt. Everything's getting washed down the river with that current. And he can get behind a boulder or log or something, tuck behind the current and keep his eyes peeled out on the seam. And anything that comes down that seam, shad, crawfish, whatever it is, he can dart out quick and eat it. Um, so they act a lot different than lake fish. Lake fish are going to go hunt around and look for stuff and actually track down their prey. A fish in a river system, he's going to, this is my search bait page. Um, a lot of baits on here and we'll get into the, what I call dragging baits. I don't fish near as many of those as I do search baits. Um, like I said, a river smallmouth is aggressive by nature. If you get a bait close to where he's sitting, he's going to show himself or eat it. So. I cover a ton of water, I use bright colored baits. Typically you're fishing a little bit of off-color water in rivers that are not usually pristine clear waters. There's usually you know, a little dirt to them, a little muddy water, so um, white. White is a really key color for me on smallmouths on the river. 
And uh, actually, the two main colors I fish on river systems is either white or something with orange in it. Those two colors for every bait I throw on river smallmouths, either like brown with orange on a jig or uh, you know bright white in my moving baits. But uh, I'll take you through some of these. Starting with top water. Top water is probably my favorite way to cover water. A anytime you're fishing fish that live shallow, a top water is, is a great, great option. Um, and it's an efficient way to cover water. Most river systems are covered with rocks and snags and stuff. You try to drag baits on the bottom and you're constantly getting hung up in the rocks, constantly getting hung up in the tree. Um, a top water bait is, a, I mean, essentially weedless unless you throw it into a lay down. So um, my two favorite is a, is a chug bug. It's kind of an old school bait. It was really popular when I started out fishing and I haven't heard a lot about it since. But uh, it, it's my favorite top water for river smallmouth fishing. I can fish it fast, I can fish it slow. And it's, it's a really loud popper. I don't know if you guys can hear that good, but um, creates a ton of sound. These, these fish on these river systems, it's not a finesse deal. You're not trying to sneak up there and throw a four pound test and try to trick one into biting. <laughs> Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.